So I get over here in the kitchen set, and here's Mad Dog, and I'm like, what are you making today? I know. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. Well, you know, the big lug over there said it right. He said, it's, <laughs> everything's in moderation, and you do need to exercise. You do need to keep yourself healthy, but during the holiday season, you need to splurge once in a while. All right, so how do you? So how are you going to splurge here today? Well, you're going to help me out. We're, we went down, you and I went down that baker's aisle at the grocery store, mm -hmm. and we picked up some uh, little M&Ms. We picked up some almond slices. Uh, the the uh, little M and M's here, the the, the uh, chocolate chips here, the Heath Bar Crunch. Uh, you can use marshmallow cream for this recipe, or we use the little Jiffy marshmallows, mm -hmm. miniature marshmallows, and some little currants. And I finished off with three blocks of cream cheese okay. on two pre-made pizza crusts. And you're going to help me out. I've got the oven set for 400 degrees, and you just spread out the cream cheese on Is that top what you of it. To, you, you 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 make the toppings. You make the pizza. You can do hunt. whatever. Absolutely. You can do coconut. I held off on the coconut because not everybody likes coconut. I know. People either love it or hate it. Yep, I yep. love no, it. No, no, no. Don't be dainty on this one, hon. Don't be dainty Don't be dainty. It. we gotta, we got to use everything up. So we're going to do chocolate chips on there. Okay. Do chocolate chips here. I'll work on the other one while you do that one. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll just do some chocolate chips. We're going to make a mess so Ann has to clean it up at the end of the day. <laughs> the little M&Ms over the top of that. The marshmallow creams. The little currants. I'll put some currants on this one over here. Those are like little raisins. So then you actually, do you grill these then? You put them on the grill. You set the grill for a, a medium direct heat and I get the crust just to going like a catalyst. Yeah. You get the crust going a little bit so, uh, uh, crispy and then you turn that burner off underneath the pizzas and you cook it indirect for not more just until your chips are down. And, and during the holiday, people sometimes have their chips down. We don't like that idea. <laughs> and so sometimes, though, um, it, I mean, I shouldn't say sometimes, the cream cheese won't melt into the grill? No, you, it stays you, you, only solid? Leave, you only leave it on for about seven, eight, ten minutes. Okay. Just enough to warm things up a little bit. Then I actually, I found out if you cool it down for six, seven minutes before you slice into it, it isn't as messy. Now, we could have smeared peanut butter on top of the cream cheese for that little bit of protein that we need during the holidays. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, and, and, and with this dessert, here's what we did. We're going to do an experiment today. Uh, we do a lot of pulled pork. Meryl does a lot of pulled pork. So we thought of the idea of taking our number one barbecue sauce, yeah. taking a pound of pulled pork, putting it into a container with the barbecue sauce, doing it to the grocery stores, and what you end up with is gorgeous pulled pork with barbecue sauce for the protein that we need to eat before we eat our carbs, our desserts. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to eat ours with a nice a whole wheat bun so that we don't, you know, everything doesn't go right to the thighs. We've got a, we've got a, 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 a very uh, expert fitness trainer in the studio with us this morning. You know, and I never Chuck, how you feeling about this? <laughs> Just see, that's all it's about. That's what it's about. Holidays. That, that's the best therapy in the world is laugh. Then comes exercise. Then comes your carbs. I love it, though. This is a new a new product for you guys? You know, it's not even on the market yet. Oh, it's not. You're, you guys are the guinea pigs today. Oh, okay. So we're just test marketing it. But Merrill is on his way to Tilida. Yeah. Highway 29 to County Trunk D, right by Bowler, right by North Star Casina. is a little, nice little city of Tilida. We're going to be there at a craft sale selling our cookbooks all day long. I'm going to head over there at 10 o'clock. Okay. I should be there with every cookbook you buy for ten dollars. Our business partner's on on uh, hunting today, mm -hmm. so instead of fifteen, we're going to do these for ten. Ah. We're going to give away a free seasonal. Very cool. Tilida craft sale. Go on out to Tilida and, and and pay these guys a visit. Thanks so much. Go carbs. We got to get these on the grill. We'll be right back.